Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to do something slightly different. I will talk about how to get started with generative AI art. So if you've never tried it before and would like to give it a shot to see what the hype is all about, or maybe you need a new album cover for your next album, uh, I'll try to point you into the right direction. Uh, first of all, it's really crazy how this technology evolved over the past few months. So let me show you something. This image was generated based on my prompt last March. It was at the New York City event. It was like a tech event and there was, a tech event, and there was this guy who was showcasing his technology. So I was like, wow, this is really impressive. You can generate some kind of graffiti and it kind of looks like it represents something. Now, over the summer, I was, I was uh, testing this, this uh, app called Wombo on iPhone. And I could see that every week these algorithms are getting better and better and better and better. And this is an image I generated literally last week using Midjourney. So, I mean, this is really mind blowing. Think about it. Last March, this gen, less than a year from here to here. So now, if you've never tried it before, you might be wondering, okay, should I go into some kind of iPhone apps? Yeah, I mean, you, you can try, let's say, Wombo. I think it's it's fairly good bet if you, if you just want to dabble a little bit. But if you really want to give it a shot and try the best possible quality, um, there are three apps uh, or three companies that are big players right now. They're, they're creating those biggest models. And uh, my favorite is Midjourney. So let me quickly give you the sense of the, the three and, and what they are all about. So DALI is made by the same uh, guys who are doing ChatGPT. These algorithms are great for images, but uh, that's not their primary focus. Their primary focus is to go towards AGI, right? So that's their big goal. Now, Dream Studio is an app based on Stable Diffusion. And Stable Diffusion is... Uh, their philosophy is all about giving those algorithms and the, the power of AI to, to the people. So they're giving everything as open source and you can modify those algorithms yourself. And if you're not a, a programmer, this app is great, uh, a great place to get started with this algorithm. But again, they are not um, focused purely on images and their goal is more about optimizing those algorithms to make those models smaller and faster, so they, they are going for real-time uh, generative uh, image creation. So they, they are already able to do some, some crazy stuff like 30 frames per second. Uh, so as you can see, these two companies are great, but they're, they're, their primary focus is not on images. And this is exactly what Midjourney is about. So if you really want to try images, as, you know, as of today, it's February 2023, I recommend that you skip DALI and... Um, and Dream Studio, and go straight to Mid Journey uh, because that's the best you you can get in terms of quality. Now, there's only one caveat here: is that unlike these other um, website, this one is confusing because you you first of all it looks like something from the 80s, right? Uh, and then you say they say join beta, so you might get the sense that it's something incomplete. And when you click that, something weird is going to happen. You'll be invited to Discord, and you will be like, "What the hell is going on?" So one thing you have to wrap your head around is that there is no separate app called Midjourney or separate like a you know web app or iPhone app called Midjourney. Midjourney lives on Discord. That's it. So you, you, once you understand that, everything feels you know feels uh, much more natural. And at first it feels awkward, but it's actually pretty brilliant. And I, I hope they will stay on Discord for as, as long as possible. So the way it works, the first time you log in. Um, you you just go onto one of those newbies channels, and um, all you need to do is type slash imagine and whatever you want. Let's say mock synth, um, and because there's so many people, your your message might get lost. So. Uh, all you need to do is go into that inbox and you'll see mentions um, here and you can find this this uh, uh, this image that you're generating. So right now we can, I can say jump and you see my image is being generated right now. Um, so within a minute you should get four images. Let's see how good <laughs> this synth will be. 
by the way, it's, it's funny. It's like, it's, it's when you wait for the results, you can see what other people are doing at the same time. It's pretty crazy. And they all obviously can see, you know, what I'm doing here as well. It's so, okay, almost there, 93%. Uh, and it disappears. So again, I'm going here to catch that. And here we go. We have four images of a uh, synthesizer. And all I need to do right now, if I want to have full resolution is, if I, let's say I like this image, I click on upscale two. And that's it. You know, as, as you can see, the, there's a new job uh, in progress and I'm waiting for my full resolution image. And that's it. So if you can get to this point, you're already in the game and you can just have a lot of fun. Um, if you want to have your private channel, you can subscribe to Midjourney and all you need to do is just type subscribe and it will generate a special link for you. See over here, you can say open subscription page where you can uh, pay for whatever um, subscription tier you want. And then you'll get something like this. So I'm going to show you how it looks on my end. I have a direct chat with Midjourney bot and I'm just, I, I can work in, in private and, and that's it. That's what you get. You can, you can also get more, um, more hours, more uh, jobs uh, at the same time. Uh, so there are some nice perks, but as I, as I said, you don't have to pay to get started. You can, you don't get any better quality or anything thing like that You get. You can generate whatever, whatever is available uh, for everybody. Um, and, you know, from this point, if you, want to get deeper into the the subject uh, remember it's not it's not as dumb as it might seem first of all there's so many words you can use so many different styles there are multiple settings that you can append at the end of the prompt uh, chaos and like seed and stylization so you have a lot of control over um, these algorithms um, there is entire like a settings page so I think I, I want to mention that because I think a lot of you guys will appreciate, you know, something that it's easy to get into, but later there's also some kind of uh, fairly shallow learning curve, but it's fun. It's, it's not like something that it, it, you get bored very quickly. It's like you can actually go deeper and deeper into these little nuances uh, of the algorithm. Um, and, you know, another great thing about having that on Midjourney, uh, sorry, on, on Discord, as uh, that Midjourney lives on Discord, is you can, there are multiple channels where people share their work, so you can get inspired. And, you know, one of the reasons I'm making this video on, on my channel right now is like, I would like to have more people from the synth community here. So maybe one day we could have that image jam like this, like here, for example, people are doing, you know, image jam based on RGB but maybe we could have a synth jam where, you know, people share their creations that are related to music production or, or instruments, or look at this photography. It's really, really beautiful stuff uh, people can make. Um, there are also games that people play, like whisper games, so they're generating images of each other or uh, have just, just a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, um, I hope it's helpful. I hope I will I hope some of you guys join uh, this community because uh, we need more musicians uh, in, in, in this crowd. And if you join, just let me know. Maybe we can, we can organize something fun within Discord. All right, that's it, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.